Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about the third method for solving quadratics, which uses the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula involves substituting values in our quadratic equation into this formula. So the quadratic formula is given as x equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole thing divided by 2a. So you're wondering what is a, what is b, and what is c. So a is the coefficient of x squared or the number in front of x squared. b is the coefficient of x or the number in front of x. And c is the constant term. Remember, when we're solving quadratic equations, we want to write our equation as a quadratic expression equals to zero. And to use the quadratic formula, we need to write the quadratic equation as a quadratic expression equals to zero. So let's start with our first example. So we have x squared minus or x minus five equals to zero. So this means that a is the coefficient of x squared. So in this case, this is one. So remember, whenever we just, we just write x squared, th this means that there is one x squared. So the coefficient of x squared in this is one. So we have a equals one, and then we have b, which is the number in front of x is equals to negative four, and c is just a constant term. So in this case, this is negative five. So c is equals to negative five. So the next step involves substituting in a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. So we end up having x equals negative of negative four plus minus the square root of negative four squared minus four times by one times by negative five and the whole thing over two times by one. And we can just slowly simplify this. So we have negative or negative four, which just simplifies down to four. We have plus minus the square root of negative four squared, which is 16. So remember the square of negative numbers is a positive number. Then we have negative four times by one times by negative five. So the negative signs cancel out. So we have four times five, which is 20. So we have 16 plus 20. And this whole thing divided by two times one, which is just simply two. And we can simplify how the numbers in our square root. So we have 16 plus 20, which is 36. So we have four plus minus the square root of 36 and the whole thing divided by two. And we know that the square root of 36 is six. So therefore we have four plus minus six divided by two. So of X, we have two different answers, which will be four plus six divided by two. So that's the same thing as 10 divided by two, which is five. And we have four minus six divided by two and four minus six is negative two divided by two will get negative one. So our answers for x squared minus four x minus five equals zero is x equals five and x equals negative one. Just like the previous videos, we can check these results by substituting in x equals five and x equals negative one into x squared minus four x minus five and see if this is equal to zero. Let's try another example. So in this case, we have two x squared plus four x minus seven. So this means that a is equal to two, b is equal to four, and c is equal to negative seven. So we'll substitute these values into our quadratic formula. So we'll end up having x equals negative four plus minus the square root of four squared minus four times by two times by negative seven and the whole thing divided by two times by two so we have on top we have negative four plus minus four squared which is 16 and we have minus four times by two times by negative seven which is the same thing as eight times seven which is plus 56 and the whole thing square rooted and divided by two times two, which is four. So we can simplify the numbers in our square roots. So we have negative four 
plus minus the square root of 16 plus 56, which is the same thing as 72 square root divided by 4. And so since the square root of 72 is not an exact value, we can just either leave our equation like this, or we can also divide negative 4 by 4 to give us negative 1. Then we'll end up with plus minus square root of 72 divided by 4. Then we can put this into our calculators to find the answer to three standard figures or to two decimal places or whatever the question asks for. However, most scientific calculators will give us the answer of the square root of 72 as 6 times by the square root of 2. So, which we can also simplify if we divide this by 4, which will give us 3 times by the square root of 2 divided by 2. So we can also write our answer as negative 1 plus minus 3 times the square root of 2 divided by 2.